In this video we'll talk about a bad habit that you should avoid. Let's look at a small example. Consider a general model for the furniture production problem where only tables and chairs can be produced. Our decision variables are x1 for the number of tables and x2 for the number of chairs. We have parameters P1 and P2 for the prices of tables and chairs. B1 and B2 for the 2x4s and the 2x2s that are available. And production coefficients AIJ. The general model for this situation is the following. Imagine now that a table should always cost at least twice as much as a chair. How would you process that additional information? Think about it and pause the video now. You might be tempted taking that information into account by adding a new constraint to the model. Well, that is what I would call a bad habit. The constraint just added contains no decision variables. Recall that P1 and P2 are parameters. Their value is assumed to be given. So whatever values you choose for the decision variables x1 and x2, the new constraint is always true or it is always false. And therefore, it makes no sense to have this constraint in the model. Constraints that do not depend on decision variables should not be contained in a model formulation. So how do we handle the information that the price of a table is at least twice the price of a chair? Prices are parameters. They are set in advance. The fact that prices have to fulfill certain restrictions should be specified in the parameter section. This indicates that input that violates this condition is simply not allowed. So please take care and always check if each of your constraints depends on decision variables.